my warm greetings to all my fellow youtubers and welcome to yet another video on win versus droid now here we have the x cam side 2 which is a 2 axis brushless maybe i don't know whether it's brushless or not or what that means but it's a 2 axis stabilizer or a gimbal uh, so i did the unboxing it might be up by the time this video is will be uploaded uh, so you can check out the unboxing video for this and in this video I'll be trying to set up the gimbal or this stabilizer uh, with this smartphone and do note that it would support only up to 5.5 smartphone so that's something you need to keep in mind so let's begin now this is the first time I'm I would also be doing the uh, what do you say configuration or setting up so this would be my first time and uh, as we progress uh, we, I would be showing you the different steps how to do this from, from this manual so let me warn you this could be a long video but I'll try to make cut it short as much as possible okay so the first thing is so yeah first thing we need to do is to place our smartphone here and there's also a warning that uh, was mentioned somewhere that uh, we should not turn this on without placing the smartphone and we need to place it such that it remains balanced it's at the center here you have an up arrow which shows you how to place your smartphone this might be a difficult task maybe i would have to remove this case and then try so instead of that let's try with the iphone which is a bit smaller in size this is the iphone 6 this would be better okay it seems like we have placed it correctly at the center okay it seems good let's check the next step the tilt of the smartphone should not be more than 30 degrees if that is the case then you need to adjust it such that it remains uh, within 30 so this is acceptable next thing to do is let's see what's the next step so the next step is to move this upwards uh, to a 90 degree such that this there is a screw here which uh, comes closer to this metal part okay now this is 90 degree then we need to rotate it this way to our side and see if the phone uh, tilt is proper or not i'll try to change the angle so that you can see a bit more clearly okay so when you hold it this way it should be balanced to make the adjustments okay i think now it's better somewhat this thing is acceptable a small tilt to the front or to the back that's not an issue let's check the next step now the gimbal is almost balanced in the horizontal plane but it's not so much in the vertical plane so we need it like this and since it's going downwards we need to adjust the screw here using the wrench that small wrench that was provided we need to what do you say um, adjust the screw using it so let's try it and then i'll come since it's going in a downward direction so we would be use uh, using this wrench and moving the screw in an anti-clockwise direction So after making the adjustment this looks somewhat perfect though I can make a bit of adjustment but it's a bit difficult to get the perfect alignment I think this should be fine okay this should be fine I guess now let's check the next step 
Okay, so I guess we are done with the calibration. Now we just need to press the home power button for two seconds and then we are done. Uh, there's a blue light here if you can see it. So I guess now we are done. Uh, you can see that. that's amazing guys you can see how it works so even though i am turning i am shaking my hands the camera is facing a lot less movement though it's facing a bit maybe i still haven't calibrated it properly 100 percent but uh, you can see that it's somewhat st stable it's not shaking that much the movement of the phone is smooth so that's how you calibrate this thing so that was just the uh, how to set up the video was about how to set up this two axis stabilizer from xcam so i hope you got an idea how to use it now i'll try to make some videos when i get uh, a good scene or something if i th find something worthy then i'll shoot it and hopefully if uh, i'm i get a good one if i get a good shot then i'll upload it on youtube so that's it for this video guys tutorial guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you didn't get bored and this is very useful for those who won't don't want to spend too much for a three axis brushless gimbal this is uh, an alternative that not a better alternative but it's an alternative that you can try uh, for your phones it's just three thousand rupees or 40 odd dollars sorry or around 40 45 odd dollars maybe 50 dollars nothing more than that so uh, for one fourth the price of a three axis gimbal you are getting something which does the job though not as well as the three x one but still it does its job as mentioned so that was it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed thank you guys for watching have a nice day good bye